Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who, based on this saying, cannot yawn and drink coffee at the same time. Our top story tonight. This week, the California Institute of Technology announced that it had found a potential new ninth planet for our solar system. Likely after receiving a distress call from Matt Damon, who was already there and needed to be rescued. Moving on, the poison water crisis in Flint, Michigan continues with a resignation from the EPA's regional administrator, whose actions caused tens of thousands of bodies to be pumped full of lead. No. So way to go, Flint, Michigan. Six more months, and this could have been you. Of course, seven more months, and this would have been you. Turns out, lead is not a great substitute for adamantium. Bernie Sanders glare eyes. On Thursday, the Bronx Zoo announced that as a Valentine's gift promotion, it would be selling the right to name a hissing cockroach after your sweetheart. The perfect gift for those who don't want to replace gifts after a nuclear winter. This just in, friends reunion will never happen. Stop hoping you're only going to disappoint yourself. What's that? Ah, uh, 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 maybe? Uh. No, not going to happen. Never. A new study that's come out predicts that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. Lucky for McDonald's, they got ahead of the curb and serve a fish sandwich that tastes like plastic anyway. Tis the season's most precious form of transportation which is, of course, a sleigh ride through a winter wonderland. This week, I'm joined by founding members of That's Get Cray, Gabriel and Andrew, to discuss what goes into making a nice sleigh ride. Hey, guys. hey -o! Whoa! So what is it people should look for in a nice sleigh ride, you guys? Oh, fuck. Sleigh rides? Shit. Whoa, well, what's, what's going on here? Shh. Nothing. Good save. Okay, so what can you tell us, having tried all of the city's sleigh rides? You're gonna wanna go as traditional as possible. And when the dragons come, you're gonna wanna aim straight to the heart. Gabe, shut up. It's not that kind of sleigh. What? Really? You guys? Okay, we have something to confess. Yeah. We didn't I don't go know on what sleigh sleighs rides. are. Then what did you do with the money that show gave you to go on sleigh rides? So we may or may not have interpreted taking rides through a winter wonderland as... As doing cocaine. What? Why would I ever... Well, how are we supposed to know that? There's hardly any, any snow out here. Yeah, it's whiter on the inside of us right now. Okay, so what do you guys have for me then? Well, we've had a lot of drinks. <laughs> and seen lots of boobs. Do you know how easy it is to convince Canadian girls that it's Mardi Gras? Uh, no. Not very. But we did it! Alright, well, I don't really have a story now. Oh, uh, we're sorry, man. We'll, we'll make it up to you. No, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. Nope. We're coming over. We're gonna make this up right now. Don't. Gabe, how many pillies you got left? Three. Two! Gabe and Andrew making things right. <coughs> Coming over right now. Gabe and Andrew making things right. Oh. You okay? Oh, it, it's okay. I had jello earlier. It tastes totally the same. Nice. Nice. We're coming over. Coming over. Gabriel and Andrew of That's Get Cray. Like the detox of sitcom episodes. This week in China, 35 restaurants were shut down for lacing dishes with opium to try and hook customers. Just when Chinese food seemed worth its price on the menu. This week, Track Palin, son of political Kardashian Sarah Palin, was charged with domestic violence. Or as the Palins like to put it, not that dirty illegal alien imported violence. No matter how much we hope and pray, not in this universe. Although we did get to be the universe that got two full-length JT albums in one year. Well, that's pretty cool, right? Moving on, this week Dish Network was fined $24 billion for calling on a no-call list. But to be fair, it was only one person. It's 
just unfortunate it happened to be Matt Damon. Could have got a distance plan. In creamsicle related news, a crocodile and a small boy. Hey, what the f are you filming what are you in here, boring <laughs> guy and fucking green screen? What the f <laughs> ah. Oh, did you throw up? I'm gonna have to go put him to bed. This week, Tinder announced one of the new features they'd be adding is an STD testing locator. In related news, Grindr announced that it would be adding an STD right into the app. No. No. And that's it for your apathetic weekend update. Uh, if you made it through the video without your Cold War sleeper cell trigger going off, please like, uh, comment below, share with your friends, or subscribe. There's also a little subscribing box down there. Check it out. Uh, yeah. I've been your host, guy who gets laid so infrequently he often rediscovers where he stashed his condoms. Good night. Oh, what's this? A reality check? Oof. What could possibly be in here? And, uh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, then, it says a friend's reunion will never happen. Never.